Hi guys, welcome to Learn City. My name is Abdul Basi. In this video, I'll be taking you through mathematics past question and answers from jam past questions. So in, in order of um, in order of topics, so our first topic here is number basis. So we start with question one. So the question one is from the year 1992, question one of that year. So we have find n if 34 base n equals to 100111 one, one base 2. So option A there is 5, option B is 6, option C is 7, and option D is 8. So I would suggest you give it a try. So just try it out. Okay. So now let's see the correct option here. We have 34 base n equals to 101. One. 1, 1, base 2. So first step is to convert everything to default settings. So the default setting is just converting every base to base 10. So how do we convert? We have 3 times n here plus 4 times n here equals to 1 times the base. The n is from the base. 1 times 2 here plus 0 times 2 here plus 0 times 2 plus 1 times 2 and the last one plus 1 times 2 we aren't done we have two numbers here two individual numbers we start from the left by naming it with the first figure of mathematics that is zero we continue one same here the first the first number here is zero one two three four so what are we using those number for? We have to use it to in power of this n. For this for now, it has power zero. So the base will have power zero. The second one is in power of one. The base will have one. Same same here zero, which is the last number. One, two, three, four. So we continue. This is n raised to power zero times four. What is the value there? We have 4 times, anything raised to power 0 is 1, know that. This is 4 times 1 plus n raised to power 1 is still n. 3 times n is what? 3n equals to 2 raised to power 4 is 16. 16 times 1 is still 16 plus 2 raised to power 3 is 8. 8 times 0 is 0. 2 raised to power 2 is 4. 4 times 0 is 0. 2 raised to power 1 is 2. 2 times 1 is what? 2. And 2 raised to power 0 is 1. And 1 times 1 is 1. So we move by saying 3n plus 4 times 1 is 4, yeah? Equals to summation of this. 16 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 is what? That is 18, 19. We have 19 here. Yeah. So collecting light term, we have 3n equals to 19 minus 4. And we have here 19 minus 4 is 15. So 3n equals to what? 15. So to get our n, we divide all two by what? By 3. We have n equals to 15 all over 3. And our final answer is 5. So what option is that? Option a. So we move, we go with option A. Our final answer is option A. Question two. Question two is from the year 2004. Question two of that year. So it says find P if 451, 451 base 6 minus P base 7 equals to 305 base 6. And the options are. 611 big 7 option A option B says 142 base 7 option C says 116 base 7 and option D says 62 base 7 why can't you try it out let's try it out okay so solving it let's see the option that is correct we have 451 base 6 minus P base 7 equals to 305 base 6 so we have Convert it to default settings. 4 times 6 plus 5 times 6 plus 1 times 6 minus P times 7 equals 
3 times 6 plus 0 times 6 plus 5 times 6. Now, let's give them power, degree of degree power. We have this is going to be of power 0, power 1, power 2. This is 0, this is 0, 1, 2. Applying that, we have 0 here, yeah? 1, 2. We have 0, we have 0 here, yeah? 1, 2. Now, C squared is 36. 4 times 36 will be here. Plus 6 to the power 1 is 6. 6 times 5, that is 30. Plus 6 to the power 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Minus P equals 3. 6 to the power 2 is what? Is 36. 3 times 36 will be here. Plus 6 to the power 1 is 6. 0 times 6 is 0. Plus 6 to the power 0 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Okay, 4 times 36, 6 times 4 is 24. All right, so your 4, keep the 2. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 2, that is 14. We have 144 there. Plus 30 plus 1 equals 3 times 36. 3 times 6 is first, 18. We have 8, keep your 1. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 1, that is 10. Plus 0 plus what? Plus 5. Now, collecting like terms, we have here 144 plus 30 plus 1, that is 175. 175 minus P equals to what? 108 plus 0 plus 5, that is 113. Okay, so our P here will be 117 minus 113 equals to P. And P in base 10 equals to what? 62. P in base 10 equals to 62 in what? In base 10. They are both in base 10. So, but our answers here, our answers are in base 7. How do we convert this 62 base 10 to base 7? How do we convert? Okay. We have P in base 10 equals to 62 in base 10. We want to convert this 62 base 10 to base 7. So just draw a division line. The conversion base will be here. The number here will be 62. So 7 divided by 62. How many times can you see 7 is 62? I think that should be that should be 8 times. 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 9 is what? 63. So 63 is greater than 62. So we go with 8. 8 times 7 is 56. Yes. So what is our remainder? We have to write our remainder here. Remainder 1. No. 8 times 7 is 56. Remainder what? 62 minus 56 will give us remainder of 6. So we have a remainder 6. 7 divided by 8. We repeat that again. We have 1. What is our remainder? Remainder 1. 7 divided by 1 is 0. And our remainder is what? Still 1. So starting from the back, starting from the bottom, we move up. That's the method. So our final answer is the remainder only. We are going to write only the remainder. 116. And you put your base, base 7. So 62 base 10 equals to. 1 more 6 base 7. And the correct option there is what? Option C. Question 3. So question 3 is from 2005, which is the question 1 of that year. So it says, find the value of M if 13, 13 base M plus 24 base M equals to 41 base m okay option a says 8 option b says 6 option c says 5 option d says 2 so let's try this out let's try it let's give it a try okay 
we have 13 base m plus 24 base m equals to 41 base m. So the first thing is to change, since they are, they are in the same base, let's see change it to default setting. That is base 10. How do we change it? We have 1 times m, yeah, plus 3 times m, plus 2 times m, plus 4 times m, equals to 4, which, of, which is this one, times the base m, plus 1 times m. Next thing is to give them their powers, respective powers. This is of power 1, power 0, sorry, power 1, power 0 here, power 1, power 0 here, power 1. So applying that, we have 0 to the basis, 1, that of 4 is 0, that of 2 is 1, that of 1 is 0, and that of 4 is what? 1. So moving on, we have 1 times m raised power 1 is t m. m raised power 0 is 1. 1 times 3 is what? 3. m raised power 1 is m. 2 times m is what? 2 m. m raised power 0 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. Equals m raised power 1 is m. m times 4 is 4 m. m raised power 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Next step is collecting like terms. We have m here, a variable m, m here, m here. So collecting like terms, we have m plus 2m. This 4m, we have to cross the border, which is the equals to, equals to sign. Minus 4m equals to 1. This 4 crosses the border, we have minus 4. Plus 3 crosses the border, we have what? Minus 3. So, m plus 2m is 3m. 3m minus what? 4m is what? Minus m. Which is equals to 1 minus 4 is minus 3. Minus 3 minus 3 is what? Minus 6. So, our final answer is dividing all through by negative to get a positive answer. Divide this by negative 1. Divide this by negative 1. Negative cancel negative. Negative cancel negative. So, our m is what? 6. And which option is correct? Option B. Our M is 6.